Welcome to this video tutorial on individual interventions in Infinite Campus. Individual interventions are reactive in nature and not planned. Examples include providing clean clothes for a student that spills juice at breakfast, or a notebook for a student who does not have school supplies. Entering this information into Infinite Campus is important as it provides a clear picture of services and assistance provided to students through your center. This information can be easily accessed through Infinite Campus reports and given to advisory councils, regional program managers, district contacts, and state lawmakers, but only if you enter consistent and verifiable information on a timely basis. The best practice is to enter data at least every two weeks. The first step to enter an individual intervention is to find the student who received the service. To do this, click on the Search tab. Next, enter the student's last name, a comma, and then the first name, and click Go. A list of matching names will appear below. Click on the student receiving assistance, then click on the Frisk tab. The next step is to click on Add Intervention. There are fields that are required. These are indicated in red and the information cannot be saved without filling these in with information. The first of these is the start date. Notice that the end date field is not required, but you should always enter an end date to ensure accurate reports. You can either type in the dates or click on the calendar icon and select dates to populate the field. Intervention is 4 is the next required field you will complete. Select student, parent, or both based on the assistance provided. Select the recipient of the assistance and not who requested the assistance. For example, if a parent requested and the student attended tutoring sessions, student would be selected. Examples of parent interventions include financial assistance, employment resources and GED help, and an example of both would be a family that suffers a house fire and the parent is given contact information for emergency housing and you provide the parent with a clothing referral for the student. The next mandatory section is Referred By. Click on the drop-down arrow to reveal the menu and make a selection. This is who asked for the service or assistance. Mode of intervention is how the service or assistance was provided. This is required information and more than one option can be selected. The result of a behavior issue and parent guardian contacted options are optional and would only be checked if the answer is yes. These can be left blank if they do not apply. Referral location one and two are also optional. Use the drop down to reveal the menu and make a selection if appropriate to the service or assistance provided. The items in the drop down menu are built by your district's Infinite Campus con contact and is intended to be a list of your community's resources and agencies. The description section is optional but useful. This section can be used for more detailed notes about the assistance that was provided that can be referenced in the future. The Intervention Categories section is mandatory. 
Click on the field where it says Select Values to display the drop-down menu. Select all that apply from the categories listed. Make sure to click Save at the top to complete your entry. Interventions can be edited and viewed after they are saved. Expand the item and click the blue link to open the intervention details. This can be very useful information if you are helping a student who has transferred from a different school as you will be able to see if they receive services from the Frisk at their previous school. This is yet another reason that entering in complete and accurate information in a timely manner is important. Thank you for watching this video on how to in enter individual interventions in Infinite Campus. Remember to mark as done when you have completed the assignment.